When y'all was growing up, did you have a sibling, a relative in your family that was little like you, but just was a tattletale? Yeah. I mean, told everything. You couldn't just ran their damn mouth. I mean, while mom and them gone, they got graphs and charts. <laughs> they got, they got, man, they could not wait. Man, I had a little cousin I grew up with. Man, I ain't understand this dude, man. I could not understand him. Soon as my mama come in, well, well, mama, you know, you left here at 345 and you asked him not to turn the TV on? <laughs> at 346, it was on. It was on. And then at 4 o'clock, they had people over at the house. Uh-huh. Mama, it was some people in here while you was at work. You be standing there going, oh, his little ass just be talking. Daddy, daddy, you remember that piece of pie you had in the refrigerator with wrapped up in foil that you was gonna eat later on? Huh? It's gone. <laughs> what was I doing? I was doing what you told me to do. I was upstairs cleaning my room and doing my homework. <laughs> and then mama, and then mama, they said if I told you that they was gonna beat me up, <laughs> you can believe that. Then I had this nephew, I couldn't, matter of fact, he on my radio show, nephew Tommy. I can't say it. You know, he's actually my nephew. He's 10 years younger than me. I, I couldn't stand him, man. <laughs> no, for real, I couldn't stand I don't like him now. <laughs> this ain't new, this hatred been for years. <laughs> he 50 years old now, I can't stand him. He worst relative I got. He, he do good job on my radio show, pranks when he was a little boy, he used to get on my nerves. Cause I used to have to watch him all the time. You know, when you 10 years older, you don't want to watch him. Mama said, mama said, you got to stay here and watch me. Mama say, I got to sleep with you because I'm scared. <laughs> well, you ever heard the song, Mama Say Knock You Out? Because that's what's going to happen to you. <laughs> now, folks, I started something this year with my writers who write my monologues. And when they don't do well, they have to do a death march. Because if I do a monologue that don't go good, it ain't because I ain't funny. <laughs> Hell, I'm one of the original kings of comedy. I've been funny a long time. <laughs> so if they write a monologue for me that I don't like, they have to do a death march. Today, they wrote a good one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my writers. Hey, I'm Steve Harvey. You want more of that? Well, don't just sit there. Go get it. Press subscribe or click on this list and you can see all the amazing videos you want. Press it. Press it.